Argentina hosted the 1978 FIFA World Cup finals for the very first time in their history. Their fanatical fans will be remembered for covering the streets and stadia of Argentina with streams of ticker tape. The Argentinian manager Cesar Menotti decided not to include the young prodigy Diego Maradona in his final squad. The host nation lost their first group match against Italy. Roberto Bettega scored the only goal of the game, to the annoyance of Menotti. Italy and Argentina finished first and second in Group 1 respectively. France failed to make the second round after losing two of their three group matches and Hungary went out having conceded eight goals. Tunisia proved that an African team could make an impression on the world stage with a close-fought nil-nil draw against West Germany. West Germany went on to record a 6-0 victory against Mexico, helping them to qualify for the second round. Brazil made a positive start in their opening Group 3 match with Sweden. However, they fell behind eight minutes before half-time to a goal from Schoberg. On the stroke of half-time, Reynaldo equalised for Brazil to make the score one all. With seconds remaining, the Swedish goalkeeper, Ronnie Hellström, asks the referee how much time remains. The referee tells him that Brazil's corner will be the last kick of the game. The corner is played in and Hellström makes no attempt to save Zico's headed goal. English referee Clive Thomas blows his whistle before the ball goes over the line and the goal is disallowed. Brazil's appeal for the goal to stand was rejected and the match ended one all. Brazil finished second in their group behind Austria, who defeated Spain and Sweden. Scotland played their final Group 4 game against Holland, needing to win by three clear goals to progress. Scotland fell behind ten minutes before half-time when Rensenbrink scored from the penalty spot. To their credit, Scotland responded well, and although Dalgleish had a goal disallowed, he equalised from close range a minute before half-time. Midway through the second half, Archie Gemmell scored a wonderful individual goal to put Scotland 3-1 up. Minutes later, Scottish hopes all but ended when Rep's long-range shot beat Alan Ruff. Despite beating Holland 3-2, Scotland failed to make it into the second round. Ernst Happel's Dutch side entered the finals without their most creative player, Johan Cruyff. However, they started the second round with a convincing 5-1 victory over Austria. Players like Rensenbrink and Rep proved that Holland were much more than a one-man team. Holland's second game in Group A was against the winners of the previous FIFA World Cup, West Germany. West Germany took an early lead when Abramczyk scored after only three minutes. Midway through the first half, Han equalised with a fantastic long-range shot. Muller restored West Germany's lead with 20 minutes of the match remaining when he scored with a close-range header. Holland came close to equalising but were denied by the woodwork. With seven minutes remaining, Holland equalised with a goal from René van der Kerkhoff. It was just reward for some positive play. The game ended two all in what was an evenly matched encounter. In their final second round match, Holland knew that a draw against Italy would be enough to book their place in the final. Italy took the lead when Brandt diverted the ball into his own net following a collision with Shrivers. The Dutch goalkeeper was injured in the collision and could play no further part in the match. Early in the second half, Brandt atoned for his earlier mistake by scoring with an unstoppable shot. Han sealed Holland's place in the final with a goal from long range. The holders West Germany were out, failing to win a game in the second round.
Having beaten Peru and drawn with Argentina, Brazil entertained Poland in their final Group B match. Brazil opened the scoring with an excellent free kick from Nelinho. On the stroke of half-time, Brazil failed to clear the ball, allowing Lato to equalise from close range. However, Roberto Dinamite scored two second-half goals in the space of five minutes to secure a 3-1 victory for Brazil. His second goal came after the Polish woodwork had been hit three times. If the hosts were to make it to the final, they would have to win their final Group B match against Peru by three goals while scoring at least four. After an early scare, Argentina secured a three-goal lead with two goals from Kempes and one from Tarantini. Argentina went on to win the match 6-0, prompting accusations from the Brazilian camp that the game had been fixed. Argentina's victory against Peru helped them to secure a place in the final at the expense of Brazil. The host nation's adoring fans were delighted. The start of the final between Holland and Argentina began controversially. Argentina made the Dutch players wait for almost 10 minutes before finally emerging onto the pitch. In what was an obvious example of gamesmanship, Argentina then protested about the protective sheaf on the arm of René van der Kerkhoff. Holland didn't let the conduct of their opponents affect them, and they went close to taking the lead. Rep headed the ball inches past the post, and then forced Filiol to make a wonderful save. Eight minutes before half-time, Mario Kempes gave Argentina the lead. The Italian referee, Sergio Gonella, lost control of the game as both teams were guilty of committing some cynical fouls. With eight minutes remaining, Holland equalised when Naninga headed in René van der Kerkhoff's right-wing cross. In injury time at the end of 90 minutes, Rensenbrink diverted Kroll's free kick against the post. Holland's last chance was gone. Cesar Menotti's team talk before the start of extra time inspired Kempes to score his second goal of the game. Bertone extended Argentina's lead with six minutes remaining to make the final score 3-1. Argentina's manager Cesar Menotti led his country to their first FIFA World Cup win. whilst their captain, Passarella, had the honour of lifting the FIFA World Cup trophy.